After an incredible few months in Bali, it was time for us to hop on a plane and head somewhere new. We're heading to Singapore and we couldn't be more excited to explore a brand new place and share our first impressions of this amazing country with you. We've arrived! We're in Singapore! We're officially in Singapore! We are really, really excited to explore this place. We've heard a lot of good things. Uh, um, pretty much only good only things. Only good things, pretty much. Let's get, grab the bags and go. We were trying to get a SIM card and Singtel said it was $50 for seven days. It's 100 gig of data, which is a lot. We don't need that much. So we're going to try and find a different one. It's this one. Hello. Uh, how much is this? Hello, sir. No, uh, like no, only four. No, no, no. They are still Singapore. Um, that's okay. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Should we get a grab? I'm yeah. just going to say. Yeah. Okay. So they all seem to be $50, which is about £30. And yes, you get 100 gig of data, but. We don't need that much, we're only here for four days. So the reason why we were looking here, usually we just leave the airport and get the SIM card later because yeah. you can usually find a cheaper one elsewhere. We read it was cheaper here. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to be so yeah. far. So we're gonna go find one in the city later. We made it into the room. We've checked in. I think it's time to throw something else on and go explore. Let's go. Okay, we're freshened up, we're ready to go, and now we're going to get a bus into the city and see how easy the public transport is. First stop is to grab a bite to eat, yes. a bit hungry after the flight. A little bit hungry, and I'm ready to try some Singapore food today as well. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're going to try and get a SIM card sorted because yes. we're pretty sure we can get it for less than $50. That seems excessive. Yeah, that's the goal of the day, to get a SIM card for less than $50. <laughs> What do you think of the soft boiled? A little bit too soft. A little bit too in. soft. I like a runny yolk, but that was a bit of a step too A bit far. too runny. Hard boiled would be the one. Hard boiled is the one. This peanut butter toast looks so good. It looks good. so good. Good? Mm, good cheese. Good cheese. Mm, mm, let's see it. It just looks delicious. Very good cheese. Mm. This peanut butter is amazing. I'm excited to try some. Mm. So good. It looks really good. I don't think I'm ready. <clears throat> this is so good. <laughs> no, <right? laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Yeah. So we had two cheesy ham egg toasts, one peanut butter toast, two coffees, two hard boiled eggs, two soft boiled eggs, and that all came to around $20, which is about 11 or 12 pounds. Um, that's about what we were paying for breakfast in Bali. Obviously, that breakfast was like maybe avocado and eggs and all this kind of stuff. When we've looked for those kind of breakfasts here, They've been almost double the price of this, just for one person. So this is probably the kind of place that's a bit more basic that we'll be eating breakfast at most mornings. I knew that you'd be able to get a cheaper SIM card here, so we just picked one up for my phone. It only cost $12, which is about £7, and you get 100 gig of data, a bunch of texts and minutes, and it lasts for two weeks. Even if you're here for just a couple of days, it's well worth to get that two week SIM card. Do not get it from the airport, definitely come into the city to get it. So we were just walking down towards Haji Lane and we came across this street and it has this super beautiful mosque and it's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. 
We have come to a street called Haji Lane in Singapore and it's a really cool street, very iconic, lots and lots of people down here. There's loads of really nice street art and loads of bars, restaurants and shops. You literally cannot get bored here, there's so much to see and do. need to try the underground now. Yeah we do. I think it'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like underground, everyone says it's so clean, so air conditioned, so we're very excited to try that but it is really nice to spend time on the bus and just look around the city. You'll probably see places that you would never usually see on the bus so yeah we're gonna head to Fort Canning Park and check it out there. I know there's a really popular photo spot there but I have also heard there's huge queues to get a picture there, so Better yeah. Better spend all day doing that. that. <laughs> We're gonna go check it out now. Definitely make sure you're bringing water with you. It's so humid here and that we've done a lot of walking we've only got the bus like once or twice and yeah you can walk around quite a lot of singapore it's not huge in that sort of sense but yeah it is hot, it is hot and you definitely need water yeah while we're in fort canning park it seems like the perfect place to let you know about singapore's green policy it's an amazing thing and it must be the only city in the world that does this but anyone who buys a spot of land in Singapore if that land has green space on it and they build on that which means digging up the greenery they then have to incorporate that within their building so a lot of buildings have greenery built into the side of them with things like living walls and it's amazing to see it just adds to how awesome this city is it's definitely one of the things that we love about Singapore and one of the things that make it the greenest city in the world It's so hot, we've got a lot of stuff to see, it's not the only thing we're here for. So we're going to head to Helix Bridge now and figure out if we need to take a tram or a bus or if we can walk. Okay, we're about to use the underground system. It's the same as the buses, it's tap on, tap off. If you don't have a contactless card, you can buy a card here that you can top up with money and use. We've both got contactless cards and we haven't actually checked in our banking apps yet how much the buses have cost us. But after we've done this trip, uh, we'll have a look and we'll let you know. We just checked our Monzo app and it's saying that that journey was six pence, which is ridiculous. Now there's every chance that it's clocked that we've used it and it has a holding fee of whatever while it calculates what the cost of that journey is and maybe it's going to end up being a bit more. If it ends up being six pence, then that is so ridiculous. We're just about to cross over Helix Bridge and head towards Marina Bay Sands. <gasps> it's beautiful! Oh, wow, look at this! This brings us conveniently to our hotel for the night. What? <laughs> Psych, I'm pretty sure you'd already know about it if we were staying in Marina I Bay wish. Sands. <laughs> in terms of staying, maybe I next stay time. <laughs> so while we're over this way, we're in the Marina Bay Sands Mall and 
honestly the feeling when you walk from the real real high humidity air outside in into this shopping center it's insane like the air con is so nice <laughs> We've cooled down a little bit now. Yeah. Seen Marina Bay Sands, the shopping center at least. And now we're gonna head back to our hotel, shower up again, get changed in something a little more presentable. And, and we're gonna go for a very nice drink in a very nice bar. We are all scrubbed up and ready to go. Yay. We're hoping we can actually get into this place because we have recently just read that you need to wear a shirt, which is not a problem but you need trousers and I don't own any. So we're gonna try and hope that we can get in. Fingers crossed. We've made it to the iconic Ruffles Hotel at the Long Bar. And this place is really special to me because my parents have drank here. My grandparents actually used to live in Singapore as well and they used to drink here regularly. So it's a really cool spot for me to come to and take that little bucket list off for me. The queue is pretty long, but good news, everyone seems to be wearing shorts, so I think Matt's gonna be getting in just fine. I'm pretty excited to try the Singapore Sling. It's the iconic cocktail, and we'll show you a little bit more inside. So it took us about 15 minutes to get in in the end, which isn't too bad. The queue moved pretty quickly. And just to clarify a few things, there's monkey nuts all over the floor when you walk in. And that's just a tradition from, you know, the early 1900s. There used to be um, a plantation near here and monkey nuts were essentially the, one of the cheapest things around. So they offered them to people drinking for free and they just, discarded the shells on the floor. It's a really cool, unique tradition, and we're pretty happy that we got to take part in that. It definitely doesn't quite fit with our budget plans of being <laughs> no. here. It came to just under $100, which is probably about 60 quid. Yeah, like 50, 55. 55 pounds, but every so often you have to treat yourself to something that's pretty iconic. And do you regret it? No, this was special to me because my grandparents literally sat at that bar, which is really, really cool. They sat there in the 1950s, like 1958, 1960, and they used to drink here regularly. So yeah, this has been really nice for me. <laughs> and although we ate our fair share of monkey nuts, maybe even our body weights, yes. I don't know, um, it's time to get some proper food. Oh, so Chinatown we go. Okay, we've made it to Maxwell Food Center. We might be a little bit overdressed, but it was worth it for the cocktail and we've got one more stop later for this evening as well. This is a bit more of a budget friendly place, but all the best food is found at food markets. Yeah. So far this has not disappointed. I got the wonton noodle soup. Danielle got something called char su mi. Both look amazing. It was $5 per dish. And then we got a beer as well because we feel like we've earned it today. 
but with that and two waters, everything's under $20. That is awesome. We are full up of delicious food from Maxwell Market and we have one more stop for today. We're heading to Gardens by the Bay to see the light show and we're so excited. That was so good. And what a way to cap off an awesome day exploring Singapore. Day one, ticked off. <laughs> we're very much ready for bed now, as you yeah. can imagine. And yeah, we're gonna go get some sleep, wake up and do it all again tomorrow. Let's go, good night guys. Good night. It is another beautiful day in Singapore. We were a little bit late starting. We really tired ourselves out running around yesterday. Danielle's just here. We're running to catch the bus so we can head back to the gardens of the bay. Obviously see it in the daytime, really looking forward to that. Huh. And because we did so much yesterday, we've given ourselves a little bit less to do today, which is kind of nice. So we're gonna tick off a few things and hopefully on the way to the gardens, pick up one of these orange juices. I really want orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard they're amazing, it's about $2. There's vending machines that we saw all over the place yesterday, but every time we wanted one, we couldn't find one. Yeah. <laughs> so we're hoping we can get one before the gardens, but if not, we'll definitely get one afterwards. Absolutely. We have to keep finding shade because it's so hot today. Oh my God, we're literally sweating. We've already finished out of water. We've not even got to the actual, um, what's it called? Super tree grove. We literally <laughs> so it sweaty. It is hot. Hot. This is well worth the $12. It's around seven or eight pounds. You can come up on this skyway and it's so beautiful. Some amazing views of the whole of Singapore. The it's whole really city. cool. It's really cool. I didn't expect to see this many views because we're not that high up, but it's really, really cool. And we've got a front row seat to Marina Bay Sands. This is so cool. When the wind's hitting, you can actually feel the bridge shaking. It's a little bit sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's safe. How good was that? That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. I could have stayed up there for ages. Yeah, they suggest 15 minutes, but... You can definitely spend more time. Fooey. Fooey. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna keep having a walk around the gardens for a little bit more. There's a couple more places that we could see, so we're gonna go check them out and see yeah. what the situation is.
we just made our way over to the main ticketing office just to scope out the prices for the cloud forest and the flower dome and it's 53 dollars per person entry it's a hot day we've been here for a little while so we're gonna give that one a miss maybe we're missing out on something incredible i don't know but we want to get a drink and there's a couple of things in town that we have seen massive queues for that we're really eager to try as well. We're now back at Boogie Street. We remembered from being here yesterday that they had some small little nibbly bits and little snacks throughout the market. So we're gonna see if we fancy any of those, grab a light bite to eat, and there's something next door that we've been dying to try. secured the snacks. We got kaya toast because it's traditional in Singapore. It's a very, very popular breakfast here. It's kaya butter toast. I don't yeah. know if you can properly see. So There's yeah. a big chunk of butter in there and... It's apparent, apparently it's supposed to be like coconut jam. So I'm quite excited. Yeah, it's a funny colour. Cheers. Um, I really like, like that. coconut. That is so nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Kaya's really good. I could eat that a lot. I could eat a lot of it. And so you've seen the size of this piece. We got four pieces like this for $2.50. It's pretty good. 10 out of 10 for the Kaya toast. We really enjoyed that. Can you help me get this out? Now we have like a... Um... I'm pretty sure you said traditional pancake. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like really breaded pancake with peanut butter inside. Look at that look. thing. Never seen a pancake look like this before. It looks really good. Do you want to try it first? Yeah. Good. Good peanut butter. Mmm. So peanutty. Mm. It's quite dry though. That is Could've, quite dry. Again, this whole thing was $1.50. Mm. I don't know, I do like that though. I like it. I would eat it. But... You need something to wash it down with. Yeah, it's very dry. Like the peanut butter is quite dry. It's not like runny peanut butter. And if you need something to wash this down with... <gasps> next up. Next up. We've been seeing all these eye juice machines all over Singapore and we heard it's really, really good orange juice. So we're gonna give it a try because I am thirsty. Juices. I'm gonna finish these off and then go for one more snack stop. It's a little bit unconventional to go for toast, pancake, orange juice, and then ice cream. Ice cream is <laughs> next, why not? <laughs> So we've walked past a couple of these places. I think it's pronounced Mix You. We'll guess. Yeah. And it's always rammed. It's so busy. The ice cream is, I think you're dripping it all ah. over yourself. It's $1 ice cream. So you can't really go wrong. And it tastes pretty good. Mm. It is so yum. Would recommend it. It's only a dollar. Yeah. 
and it's definitely needed on a very very hot day 100 percent and after just working it out after everything that we've just eaten on our little snack spree <laughs> it's come to pretty much bang on ten dollars that's pretty good that's so good these are really delicious as well mm. one dollar ice cream so can't good. go wrong it is melting <laughs> it is melting very quickly though So we're finished with our snacks. Time to get a little drinky poo. Yeah, I'm ready for some wine. <laughs> so the first time it wasn't open. The second time it's because of weather. So don't think Marina Bay Sands wants us to come in. It is pretty windy, but yeah. Oh, that's where they just come in all of a sudden. All of a sudden, like it was really beautiful blue skies and all of a sudden it's like, I know a little bit stormy looking. We are just gonna go for dinner now. We're gonna head to Little India and I'm hungry for some good Indian food. Yeah. And I know that's gonna be the best place for it. So we're gonna head there now. Hopefully it doesn't rain because the weather has taken a bit of a yeah. turn. It's very cloudy and a bit windy. So hopefully it just passes. But we didn't want to wait around, even though we did want to go for a drink up there wasn't meant to be today. Even that's though we've gone from snacks straight to dinner, that's fine. We can always eat Indian food. Yeah, we can always. We've got like an Indian food stomach. <laughs> always there. I can always eat. Little India did not disappoint. We had a really amazing meal here and it's definitely somewhere that you should check out when you're in Singapore. After all that exploring and eating, we <laughs> headed back to the hotel because today we are taking you to the world's best airport. I've never been this excited to be at the airport this early. <laughs> yeah, we're about an hour or two hours early. We've checked our bags in and now we're ready to go and explore the shore. Apparently there's a bunch to do here. Let's go. just at the gate waiting for our flight we had to rush so if you do come to the jewel before the airport come a lot earlier than you think because <laughs> it's huge it's basically this really fun shopping mall and there's so much to do there so what's your first impressions of singapore i really love singapore it reminded me a little bit of kuala lumpur yeah um, i mean that makes sense they're so close they are so close i really enjoyed it and it wasn't as expensive as i expected it to be like the most expensive thing i think was accommodation um, and the cocktail oh yeah the cocktail <laughs> at, uh, the cocktail raffles. at raffles but that was like a one-off treat yeah. we wouldn't usually do something like that yeah I, w I had the exact same thing i'm so surprised at how cheap you can eat yeah. if you want to look for the more street food side of things yeah. or head to like little india little um, chinatown yeah then you can find some, some really places. incredible cheap eats and you're not uh, you're not losing out on quality either it's so delicious yeah. and it's the kind of prices that we were paying in bali which that is that's, that's surprising blowing our mind. when we get back home we're going to crunch some numbers and let you know exactly how much we spent for three days in singapore and we'll tell you how affordable it is to travel singapore in 2023 <laughs> 
This bit was supposed to come to you live from England after we flew home following our trip to Singapore. We filmed it, accidentally deleted it, so now we're coming to you live from Indonesia again. Daniel and I are back on our adventures and we're doing some really cool, fun, little bit different kind of stuff, so we'll bring you a little bit more of that soon. The fact we deleted it doesn't matter because the numbers don't change. So I've got the breakdown of what we spent during our time in Singapore, split into different categories. We spent $104.30 on food. Accommodation was the most expensive thing at $455. Transport was $90.42. So like I said before, there must have been a holding charge that they put on your card while they calculate the journey. I don't know what it cost per trip, it just bulked it all together. Activities, we spent $124 and we got a SIM card for $12. All together, for two people, that comes to $785.72, which converts to £461.26. I don't know whether you think that is expensive or not. We think that's actually incredible. That's for two people, including accommodation, to travel around and have the best time in Singapore. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure to check out this one right here as well. And stay tuned for next week, because like I said, we have some amazing adventures coming up.